Hello, my name is Shelley Craig and I am the Centre Manager of Headspace in Rockhampton. We've only been open um, since February 2014 and Headspace is a part of the National Youth Mental Health Foundation. Um, our aim is to help um, young people ages between 12 and 25 who are going through a bit of a tough time. We provide assistance and support with general health, um, with mental health and counselling. We try and assist with education, employment and other services and also the facilitation into other external services where they may need some help. Um, Headspace Rockhampton has five clinicians on staff. We have social workers, psychologists, access and intake officers and in addition to this we have a youth and community engagement officer, our clinical receptionist and myself. Since opening Headspace, uh, Rockhampton has had five students on placement. Um, these were psychology and social work students. By having the students in the centre, it has increased the capacity of the centre greatly, where we can have an increased number of services being able to be supplied to our clients. Um, and as this service is fairly new into the community, this has been just um, a godsend and has been just invaluable to the, um, to the increased level that we have now been able to deliver. It's also given the students, um, we've had a great uh, experience, our five students have just been great to have. Um, they've also gives them an opportunity to see such a diverse um, group of clients right through from general counselling, um, right through to the really complex client cases. Uh, and it also gives them an opportunity to work in a small not knit group like Headspace, it's the Headspace team. We are very close um, and support each other. And they've also have the added support of our clinical manager who provides one-on-one -on -one peer support for the um, students as well. By undertaking the placement, the um, students are also exposed to the internal uh, policies and procedures that um, Headspace has along with our lead agency which is CQ Medicare Local. Um, and having the students also has increased our, the additional, has additional skill sets and uh, knowledge to the, our organisation. Um, Headspace Rockhampton, we try and always provide a youth friendly, um, very welcoming type of um, environment for them just to make sure that they feel comfortable coming in because it can be quite um, a stigma attached to the, the mental health side of things. Um, we have had great success in that making the actual building um, was done and decorated in conjunction with our um, youth reference group so they have assisted in that to make it a youth friendly sort of type of um, environment. We've also looked at making it culturally appropriate for our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, population as well. Um, yeah, our main aim is to make the kids or the young people feel welcome and feel that they're, you know, that it's a good place and safe place for them to be. Uh, when the young person comes in and does ask for help, whether they've self-referred or they've just popped in to say hello, um, whether they've been referred by their general practitioner, we then take that we undertake an intake where we have talked to the client to see what their needs are. That's then discussed amongst the group um, of our clinical team who then make the decision whether or not they're suitable for our service and then make any external um, referrals that we need to. Um, but as a group, um, the client's whole case is worked through as a group and um, if there's any problems that one particular clinician is having with that particular case, whether a type of treatment is not working or therapy is not working, they can bring that back to the group to have a discussion. There's regular peer support we do each week where the group of clinicians get together and discuss um, any cases that they're having issues with or anything like that. So it's very much a, a group um, on how they, the treatment is actually then uh, facilitated to the young person. This may then even include our group sessions that we have. We have regular group sessions that are um, all about independent living skills um, and that sort of thing and so they can be referred into those particular groups as well. Um, it also may include our youth and community engagement 
um, coordinator who then can link them into something that may um, suit them as an external service. If they require um, another provider, an external provider, we also provide case coordination so we can facilitate that to make sure that they are being engaged with the correct um, external provider. Um, all of the students that um, undergo their placement at Headspace are involved right from um, the client's intake process. They may even be responsible for doing that intake when the client first comes in. Um, majority of the time then it is the client is then allocated to one of the clinicians and this also would probably be one of the students that they would then look after that client from the beginning to the end of their placements and from the beginning and the end of the client's journey. Um, they would also be um, included in the case reviews and any peer support that is um, that goes on while they're in the placement that occurs. Um, and also with the group sessions, that is something that we really encourage the students to be a part of. We really value their um, contribution. They come up with new and innovative ideas um, to be included um, in, the, in the development of the subjects that the um, clients, that we make available for the clients. I think they bring a diversity that we have, I mean there's all different personalities across and it's bringing that sort of diversity of different skill sets, whether they specialise in a particular part of their, um, whether it's part of their module or anything like that, what they specialise in or have a special interest in. I think that also, but it also has built a good relationship with CQU for our organisation, which not only is beneficial for students and for, for us in that capacity, but other brings up other opportunities as well for us to collaborate with CQU as well. But yeah, by definitely, the students that we've had have been just amazing. We've had such, we've even had one of our students was given a present by the clients because of the fantastic service and how much they helped them what, during their placement, which is just testimony to the type of the students that we um, had on placement. I think one of the strongest points that we have here at Headspace um, since I joined the team in August is we are a really close-knit group. We're very, very supportive of each other. Um, this can come about if there's a crisis or something like that. We all do get in and help and make sure that everyone is supported. If at all there is a situation where anyone finds themselves a little bit stressed or not knowing what to do, there's always someone here to assist particularly our students because we're looking to grow, for them to grow and have an enjoy, you know, enjoy their time while they're here and not for it not to be a stressful time for them at all. Um, so that support is always available through um, either myself or our clinical manager or even just amongst their peers. Um, the, and the other psychologists, our full-time psychologists and access and intake officers are very, very supportive if they have any questions or anything like that. We are a really close-knit group and we do have a lot of fun, um, as serious as it can be um, in our group, in, our, in, in this sort of um, environment. We do try and one day, at least every week, we try and make a bit of a, a fun, you know, whether it be just we sit down and have a cup of tea together or whatever it may be, but just to try and ensure that the support is there for everybody.